it is time to start cooking our daily dish. Today we are making a puff pastry chicken pot pie. Sounds good to me. This is what you'll need. Garlic, shallots, a carrot, celery, a potato, some peas, butter, flour, white wine, heavy cream, chicken stock, cooked chicken, thyme, salt and pepper, and of course puff pastry, and an egg. Randy, pot pie is such a classic, especially as the days get colder and on, on a day like today, I really want some pot pie. So I'm looking forward to your, seeing your take on it. Trace, thousand percent. You know, like for the last few months, I didn't even think about pot pie, not a single time. And then all of a sudden, the days get shorter, it gets a little colder, and I'm like dreaming of it. I'm like, I need to call City Line and show them how to make a pot pie. So what we're gonna do, because we need that thick sauce, you know what I mean, that sauce that kind of sticks to your ribs, that's the whole point of comfort food, is we're gonna start in a pan with flour and butter. We're gonna and toast it off and make a roux. And then we're gonna saute off our vegetables. I know that that ingredient list sounds really big, because it is, but basically all we're gonna do is give it a quick stew and then deglaze with some other stuff, like some white wine, some cream for, for some consistency and loveliness and then some stock. But if you take a look at this pan, Tracy, you can kind of tell like this is starting to look like comfort food right here, isn't it? Absolutely. It's just like toast those veggies away. And that's just like, that's every mom's basic cooking. You know, it was basically everything in the fridge, right? Your mom pulls it out <laughs> and she's like, we're making a stew. And she didn't have a recipe. She just pulled everything out of the fridge and was like, we're just gonna saute it up, add some flour to make it a little bit thicker and go with it. So that's what we're doing right now. And as well, we went out to the garden today and we got some fresh thyme. Yep. And at the end of the season like this, this is my favorite time to pick thyme. I really don't like doing it any other time. But you just put your fingers here because it's ripe for the picking. And just, oh, pull on the end here and oh, look at that. It just falls right off. Oh, aromatic, beautiful. Get out there, save your herbs. We'll do another segment on that another time, but use what you can right now. So now we've got some caramelization going on on our veggies. We're going to throw our potatoes in. And I got some extra peas here. I really like the peas in the chicken pot pie. And then we're going to work on a deglaze. So just a little bit of white wine to get all that stuff off the bottom of the pan. And now we can start feeling these flavors coming together. Tracy, what's your favorite comfort food of all times? Hmm. Lasagna is up oh. there. Fresh bread is up there. All the cheeses are up there. And you know what, before you even go back to the I recipe, like can we give Catherine like extra special props today for like the camera going in on the pot, the camera going out, the wide, the pan, the whole nine, like she is a pro now. She is so good, it's lots of practice, but she is so good at this. And we've got a new microphone today, so I think she's really feeling love and the camera's working, so <laughs> she appreciates the shout out. She's got a big smile on her face right good. now. So I just roasted off a chicken um, last night. You can buy a rotisserie chicken if you really want, but there's always some kind of leftovers. I always cook way too much. Now to finish this off, all I need to do now, I've got the chicken stock in, I've got the white wine in, a little bit of heavy cream because every comfort recipe needs heavy cream. So then a little bit of salt and we'll just let that kind of stew away and let those flavors get to know each other. So Tracy, puff pastry. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, but um, I don't bake very well. I don't make a lot of pastry. Like I can do a short pastry okay, but, but puff is one of those things that just takes like nine hours to make. Yeah. And why would you do it? There's certain items in the grocery store you just need to buy. I think this is one of them. So I just kind of layered this into four because I want some extra puff. And then I'm just gonna round off the edges really, really easy like that to kind of make it a little bit more of a circle. And I've got, a chilled pot pie mixture here because we really do want it chilled, right? Because if it's hot, it's gonna steam the pastry and that's gonna make it fall and that's not what we're after. Mm -hmm. And then it's as simple as putting this pastry around this pot. Then we do the egg wash. And you gotta make sure that you brush it with egg wash because this is what's gonna give it the shininess and it just needs to breathe because that, that pot pie is gonna come up and hit that pastry. So we just give it a couple stabs in the top here Think of those as little chimneys. And what that's gonna do is gonna kinda like vent off into the oven. And then we throw it in 30 minutes, close to 400 degrees, and allow some room for puff because when you come back, 
Ooh. Nice. Look at that, Trace. That looks good. I don't know about you, but you know what? I got to hit it with a knife first. I mean, we'll take a beauty shot of the next one, but you can just cut into this. Oh, my God. And you can see the steam coming out. Chef, amazing. It is the